Hey, hey, hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla. Where are we? Yeah, we're out at the, uh, I'm not sure if I've ever even shown you guys this, but this is the Mesa, where it's like the only Mesa I know of on, of the, ser on the server. Uh, this is where we get our clay from. This place has been wrecked. <laughs> it's just like, it's free for all here, as it should be. <laughs> it's just like completely stripping the land away it's amazing um why am i here well why else why else indeed um uh i'll answer him in a minute yeah i'm here to pick up clay so i've got some normal um and some light gray just because it was between the brown and the white which is what i actually want um going to use those hopefully in today's project um if we get that far oop, jump through that let's try jumping into it um we are we let's pick up nether mule take me home go <laughs> um yeah so if we get far enough into the project we will be adorning it with a little a little bit of uh, artistic flourish um, hence the need for coloured clay. Um, but yes, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get right on back to base. We're going to pick out a place where we're going to prospectively put our villager trading hall. Uh, well, mm -mm, I don't know about the training, trading hall, but the villager audition area um, some point uh, in the future. Um, you may remember I've done this... I've done a villager audition areas both on the last type of my map uh, and on my old single player. Um, didn't really get that fully working, but <laughs> well, it was working. I just didn't quite finish the project off. Um, but yeah, so we'll figure something out for that at some point in the future. Um, so yeah, I'll see you back over the base, over at the base, and we'll find out where, where that possibly will be going and we'll get the villagers going into some rough holding area so that I can start making use of them. Um, so yes, this is a very, very long tunnel. I'll see you over at the base. Okay, so we are back and uh, let's go and find a place to uh, dump our villagers. I've got smelted up um, the sand that I cut uh, that, that I cut, <laughs> that I um, dug up uh, into glass at the uh, turbo smelter at the blaze farm so um yep i'm gonna need some of that um and i've on my on the way over i've been thinking and i think i know where we're gonna put this uh we're gonna put this i believe uh, i've got a fair amount of inventory up here um because this here this area here is probably the closest to the villager breeder and i reckon we'll have a decent size room just like the storage um temp storage area oh come on <laughs> um if we pull out all of these walls i think we'll have a a room that's pretty pretty reasonably sized for trading hall purposes look at that yeah just dig all of this out and beautiful doom 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 and doom and sweet yeah that'll work that'll work nice i mean you know yeah it's not like you're actually limited <laughs> i mean i can always dig out more um but um, yeah, that this will do as a decent area um, to just to, to start start with. Basically, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to be moving the mechanism that you saw me put in for limiting the number of villagers. I'm going to move that down here and run the redstone output from it all the way back because um, it kind of makes sense to have a nice big sort of buffer of villagers down here rather than otherwise i'm gonna have to wait you know when it comes to doing the villager auditions I'll, I'll end up having to wait for for ages for the villagers to get down here every time i click to to retrieve one so hey wooden door i don't want you 
And so, yeah, basically, I'm going to take some coordinates. Um, let's see. Awesome. Right. Okay. Anyway, so um, we're going to dig down from kind of below, <laughs> below these guys. Yeah, from that block there. I'm going to dig down. I'm going to meet up with those coordinates. Um, so, yeah, I'm also going to need room for a torch stack to come up at this point here. So I'm going to want that next to them. So I'm going to do the two, this two thing, like when you dig down. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you when I've done that. Okay, 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 right. So I've been a digging and um, joined it all up. Fantastic. Look how many people are on. <laughs> That's really good. And that may not seem a lot to some people, but the, the vanilla server has been kind of dead at the moment. Um, but we are going to rectify this, hopefully. Um, we are going to... This, there has already been a video released on uh, mine, among other people's channels, um, telling you about um, the competition. Uh, we're, well, we're, we're, ex we're accepting uh, applications um for people to join the server um so yeah that's the thing check it out the there are rules and stuff but uh anyway we're going to put our light pressure plate here um and i'm just going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fourteen fifteen yes definitely then we will go repeater and then block um, and from this point onwards, it will be um, 15 redstone. And you know what I like to do? I like to let the let the dust count for me. <laughs> so just run along like this. And when we're out, repeater, block. There we go. Sweet. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that all the way along to the end. Um and yeah, yeah if, if anyone brings it up, yes, I could have done, um, oh, planning on connecting. All right, cool. That's cool. I, um, I discussed that with him. Um, uh, did, 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 yeah. So, um, cool. Um, just recording. Um, so yeah, basically, um, one thing I need to do is sort out, uh, torch, my torch stack. Um, now that could be a massive, massive pain to do. Um, but, um, I just thought to myself, the one, one of the things I've not made that is not even a new feature anymore. And I, I really ought to, uh, I hope, yeah, yeah. um, I really ought to do that before before 1.9 comes out is to make a potion of leaping. Now, I, 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 I'm pretty certain you brew them with a rabbit's foot. I guess you get rabbit's foot by... Oh, yeah, ravine there. Um, I guess you get rabbit's foot by killing rabbits. So, um, yeah, um, where, before, we tr uh, before I attempt to do the torch stack... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go kill a load of rabbits with my loot in three sword. Um, and hopefully then I can make. Oh, really? <laughs> so close. So close, but so far. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll make a potion of leaping. Um, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully be able to torch stack really, really easily. <laughs> Finally, oh, <laughs> got one. Nice. Okay, right. So, got my awkward potion. Brewing my rabbit's foot up. Um, and yeah, we need to test that it will do what I want it to do. Um, 
which is firstly, <laughs> which is primarily um, that I'll be able to jump two blocks high. <laughs> That's what I need. That's what I need. So let's grab one of these guys. It's nice and long, three minutes. Chug him. Boom. And oh, uh, let's let's go somewhere I can jump. <laughs> let's go somewhere I can jump quickly. Right, boing. Right, so can I? Oh no, really? Okay, fine. More you know. I could have looked that up, but I, I decided. You know what? Mm. Just just wanna. Yeah, let's just get on with it. So, um, we need. Glowstone, I want to say. Is it glowstone? Number two. Num there we go. Awesome. I'm sure that that... Oh, only one minute 30. Let's take both, just in case. Um, so that should allow us to do what we need to do. Okay, so the moment of truth. We'll finish covering this over. There we go. So the redstone is going to run into this block here and I'm going to do that. And then, and that works out pretty well, kind of unintentionally. I'm going to have this and then that. This is where the villagers will land. Bong, here to flow off there. So we'll have a water source there. And oh, I should have bought some ice while I was in town. Uh, next to that, we will have... Uh, this right so jump boost two be a thing let's get right over that <laughs> God, there we go nice nice okay right so i did that um water stream and we're back up here um so first a test um because i left that redstone powered if we come in here, yes, this torch was off. It's now on. That means the torch stack is working perfectly well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove all of these, which will turn the breeder back on. But that's okay because at the moment it only holds seven. And we're going to go, it's going to be holding 15. Um, although having said that, there was probably some babies that then grew up. I don't know. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to turn... There we go. We're going to put that there and that is going to turn it back off. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get... Uh, let's see, how are we going to do this? Uh, I think we're just going to whip that block out. Hopefully catch the weighted pressure plate because we need that. Um, and let them fall. <laughs> Hopefully they should all, by the time we get down there... Well, maybe not quite, but... Well, Oh no, there we go. <laughs> Ready. Bye. <laughs> awesome, right. Okay, so you know you want to. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you know what? I've just realized something. Ah, oh, too late. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Fine. I'll figure out. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. There's, um... A thing I wanted to do with rail carts. Um, might still be able to do it. Um, so Okay, right. So we're skipping ahead a little bit now to um, just try and rein in the length of this episode a little bit. Uh, <laughs> um, I've set this little kind of temporary audition area up. Um, this is a quite a neat trick that I got again from the tutorial world for the breeder by Unary Bit. Just this thing here where you, you you get carts to pop up into this corner here. Um, and it's really reliable for picking the villagers up. Really like that. Um, this is actually powered. This rail here is powered by the pressure plate. So if it gets empty, it would actually, the cart would just sit on this bit of rail here. And then when more villagers came in, it would then carry on. So I will use this method in the more permanent audition system when i set that up but this is not that um <laughs> to give you a clue this is my um this is my <laughs> year out mechanism just dumping a bucket of lava in this uh sign cup thing <laughs> um 
So yeah, I've also laid tracks all the way through down the base, all the way, um, including a little jump, hopefully they'll make it over that, um, to the area where I've decided we're going to build those. And I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but I need to get um, four farmers and three other types, including farmers. So hopefully there are four farmers in there. I can see at least one, but I mean, I could only really see like three, <laughs> except when the Z fighting allows <laughs> um, villagers. So if I, did I bring a button? I didn't. So if I do this, beautiful. So you're a farmer, you can go on and bye-bye. <laughs> awesome, one farmer. Right, uh, so you're one of the other ones. We'll have you off on your way. That's uh, next one. Farmer, off you go. Oh, may not even have to kill any of them. Um, so that's two farmers. You're number two of the any other types. Number three of the any other types. So from now on, <laughs> we need farmers only. I'm sorry. You are the weakest link. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, and you are also the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, come on. I think they're... Oh, are those two last two farmers? That'd be amazing if they are. Come on. You are a farmer. Go. Be not free, but to a new form of captivity. <laughs> and actually, I can just pop that there. You are a farmer also, and that leaves one left, two left. <laughs> or one wearing a disco shirt. Anyway, right, so, boom, go. And I'll follow you down, and, whoa, hello, thank you. Um, so, let's shoot on down here. Boom. <laughs> kind of weird. Um, yeah, so I've run this all the way through. Now, it's kind of down near the mine uh, mining area. Um, that we're going to be building our farms. It's actually a little bit further down. Oh, wow, lag. A um, little bit further down um, and off to the side from there. Wow, I, I really dislike when you go around the corner on this track. <laughs> here we go, down here. So the mining air is up that way. Um, and if we hop around here... Bye-bye. So, one, two, three, four farmers, three others. Let's, um, let's, let's just, no. <laughs> go back, go back, <laughs> go back. There we go. Awesome. Right, so, um, i drop off some more of these supplies, and these are actually bits and bobs from, um, putting the uh putting all that rail down so let's put them there for the moment so um this was a whole little maze of corridors i've actually cleared it out and extended it out a little bit over here that needs my ha i got it on me this time bong thank you um and we're gonna have four farms over here um room for a spider um uh spider spawn here we might do some stuff on the other side here maybe sheep farm or you know other things maybe the cow breeders who who knows um but yes um the next thing to do next thing to do is i am going to dig out um dig these areas out so that we can put down a nine by nine um dirt pad <laughs> Um, so yeah, that might take a little while, so I shall do that and come back to you. Right, well this is a problem. <laughs> I apparently have intersected a slime chunk in my digging. Um, <laughs> oh no. Okay, right, so. 
let's have a look at what we've done. Um, so we've got this big area for the four farms um, and we're going to concentrate today on the two wheat farms uh, simply because um, these farms um, intersect slime chunk and I'm really not sure whether I want them there or not um, and time you know stuff and things um, this will be the wheat farm and this will be the bread farm um, and um, the wheat farm is of one design and the bread farm is and all the other farms are of a different design which are based upon um <laughs> again uh designed by unary bit um but it's his is the pretty much the best uh carrot and uh, and potato farm the design and it, it does actually work with bread um uh but his is the best design that i know of um mine is kind of a cut down design it's not quite as high capacity um and that's just because i wanted a certain look i wanted little kind of booths of of farmy goodness where is that skelly um but let's have a look at this one first so um i've laid out this kind of area um and that the idea is we're going to have our pad of soil above here and we're going to lay out minecart tracks um probably something like let's do this uh oh okay so it wants to go the other way than that uh we'll have a bed of minecart tracks uh with hopper hop, hopper minecarts uh well a hopper minecart uh going back and forth uh, to suck up items um and we want to deliver it to a chest that will sit on top of this dropper um so yeah give us a sec and i will that is not what i want to do because i haven't got enough gold to do that um give us a sec i shall um lay out the uh the rail rail bed and i'll come back to you okay right so hey oh tick hey tick um so that's laid out should work okay do 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 um that's a bit that's a bit funky about how it mm, i may have to undercut this actually looking at the way that that moves yeah i might do that between clips just to be safe um this actually got undercut by accident i didn't mean to um because the the soil will stop in line with these um but that's possibly was a good thing right so um we're gonna we're gonna have our chest here i know i kind of implied it was going to be in this block before but i think this will be better um but we need we need to have um an item elevator um and we also need to fill it now we can't ha fill this one because we'll need we'd need to put a hopper on the side which would mean we'd need rail on the top and the cart would become visible so that's would be poo poo um so we're gonna have to go down and um have another dropper there do, 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 do and Oh, hey, my silk touch means I'm no longer getting <laughs> cobble. Right, okay, so we'll come down there. We'll, we'll come... Okay, yeah, so we'll do that. And we'll have this kind of come around. Uh, 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 like something like this. Now, I'm not 100% on how we're going to what we're going to do with that um so obviously we're going to need we're going to need a clock um we're going to need we are going to need to read the bottom inventory with a comparator and have a clock to push things up into the top um and also we're going to need to have some sort of system to uh, empty the cart um and basically let the um let the cart get here empty and push off now i'm figuring you know that we'll what we'll do is we'll just do a simple timing system for that um you know we'll put uh 
detector rail there and um, <laughs> um I will put detector rail there put loader delay on um to there because you know we don't need to get too fancy with this so that's one thing then right i am going to sort out because the, the other thing that this needs to do is if this fills up and it starts backing up down here i need something i need something to see because this is going to be funny because what i don't want is um i don't want the clock to go permanently when the system backs up that is that that is what i would consider to be a bad thing um so that's going to be difficult to wire in a hidden way actually because really we'd need to we'd need to do we need to have a look at that um hmm okay let me have a think about this and come back to you okay right so i have the system that we're going to use to unload the cart and control the cart blah, 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 thingy 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 it's actually quite simple um went through a lot of derping i'm not quite sure how much has made it into this episode but um it's actually really simple uh we read this hopper with a comparator um so when the stuff in the hopper turns the comparator on turns the redstone on this piston extends across the track um, which stops the car from leaving it means we can do this without having power rail next to the um, next to this uh, dropper which allows the dropper to get you know be part used in the clock for the item elevator um, if we put stuff in there pump it sits there it's now unloading do 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 this thing goes as is needed, pushing stuff up into there. Awesome. Right, okay, so um, basically that's kind of, now you watch this, just totally break when I try and pull these two down. Um, please work. Please. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I hate it. <laughs> hate it anyway um so uh, so now what i want to do is um arrange a kind of a a kind of overflow system so that when it backs up um and it will back up eventually but when it does back up it uh what it does is the extra gets put into dispensed into a water stream which can then be pushed off somewhere um so yeah um the logic will be the logic will be um i think what we want to do is we want to read this dropper and when this drop when that dropper is completely full um then that's going to be pain isn't it huh that is going to be a pain uh but when that dropper is completely full or a certain amount full that means it's backing up um and then what we'll do is we will uh we'll do something to stop this clock um and unlock a hopper that we'll put we'll put a hopper below below this uh below the bottom dropper um but we'll have it locked and then yeah then then that'll get unlocked so it can dis go into another dropper with another clock and dispense into uh, a water stream eventually i really don't think don't know how far we're going to get um on that but let's see shall we <laughs> let's have a look <laughs> all right well uh yeah back in a mo okay right well i've been having a redstone nightmare <laughs> i'm trying to figure out the um how to cram in uh, the clock um and the overflow thing and the logic of the overflow thing oh ugh, it really baked my noodle all last night um but today is another day um i've spent a lot of time on this episode i don't know if it shows 
Um, I don't feel like I've made a lot of progress, but a lot of time has gone into this. But let's get on with this because it's getting long now and there's only so much footage I can cut. Um, <laughs> so, yes, um, we've got a clock. We've got our clock. Um, that is wrong. That shouldn't be there. That's unnecessary. Um, yeah, so we've got a clock, just as before. Um, so what we have on the side, we've got a torch here, okay? Um and that powers this um, uh, pulse extender or big delay circuit, basically. So if we turn, if we um, if we were to remove bonk, that, you'll see it gets and slowly goes down. Okay, so this torch flashes away when um, the clock is running, uh, but it doesn't really matter because this will um, uh, absorb the off time and keep this powered yeah um, what that does is it that repeater powers this block which locks this hopper which is below the bottom dropper so this cannot take out of the dropper unless um, unless this torch goes off for long enough for this power to drain out of this circuit once that happens stuff goes down here and um, this Hop, uh, this clock comparator clock um, which is the same as the one at the top um, makes it spit the items out into this area here which is where we will have um, uh, water over ice probably um, to transport the items away to um, almost definitely one at least go to the villager breeder to keep those guys fed um, so I've gummed the works up with ice um, so if I put, uh, so that's full there and that's full there. So if I put ice in here, it should go into here. But if I put redstone in, it should go down. So let's uh, demonstrate that. So we've got ice going in. Now you see this is coming here and it's, uh, there you go. So it kind of burnt out a little bit. Um, but this delay kind of absorbed that and that's okay. Um, all the ice should go up into there. Sweet. Um, if if I um, take that out and put that back and put redstone in there, not no, not that that. <laughs> then what will happen is the clock will just keep running and running and running and running, and it will burn the torch out, and the torch will actually stay burnt out. And now stuff is. This is all unlocked, stuff's flowing down, it's going to shoot it out of that dispenser. Um, and when this clock stops, the torch will get updated and the burnout will stop. And... In a second. <laughs> Come on, there we go. And it's all back to how it was. There should be about 40 items in there. Yeah, exactly 40 items in there. So that is actually working. And yeah, what I'm going to do is I am going to quickly, because I want to get something working, um, I am quickly going to um, slap um, soil over the top of this, um, put the floor, or at least a temporary floor, back over the top, some walls around, and um, yeah, uh, let's see if we can get the thing working. Okay, so... Um, I shall see you back in a second and we'll wrap up the episode there, I think. Oh my goodness. Do you want to see the saddest thing of all time? This <laughs> doesn't work, even if I mess around with slabs. Because that blocks it. Oh, right. Quick rethink. Okay, I fixed it. I used my brain and I fixed it. Um, so now, hopper, through block into comparator... Uh, turns torch off, turns repeater off, it pulls piston detracts, pulls rail out of the way, this drains, and then... Woo! <laughs> and that should work, no problem, with our wood. It's wood compatible. Okay, right, so I've kind of buttoned a little bit up. I need to get some more squid ink um, for this stuff, really. Um, I've 
not fully i've not put the ceiling in um and i've not because i'm not quite sure if i need to go up a couple of blocks and this wall there is a reason there's brown clay here um and there's a reason this is here but i'm not going to reveal it until uh next episode um or you know when when i finally manage to finish the other farm design because then it will become apparent um what i am going to do is i'm going to um do all of this how all this ground up um or at least right what i need to do actually oh this is going to be tricky this is going to be tricky what i want to do is i want to put um ice here melt it it's oh i know what i can do to stop it ah uh, you know what messing about for no reason so what we're going to do is we are going to grab some of this if i if i plant something in those spots yeah like this they will not de de-earthify <laughs> de-earthify um yeah so i'm going to do this plant all of this and then uh, in fact no because I'm going to want some light nearby so I'll put that there, that there I'm going to get that there, put a carpet on top and what should happen is please work, please please <laughs> let's, look. let's have a block ready just in case Is it should go to water should go to water Come on, you know you want to. Yep, there we go. Sweet. So as long as nothing ever updates those, <laughs> that block of water, then it we're golden. The inside of this, at a later point. But what we're going to do now is, I'm going to grab a couple of bits of glass and all the seeds we can carry like this and we got more no so we got one two three four five full stacks hey ben um five full stacks of seeds which is good so if i if i break let's see if i throw if i throw these seeds on the floor or some of them most of them like that and then break this farmer's thing. He picks up the seeds. Yeah. Now you should go in there and try and plant them. Can you see that farmland? Go on. Look at the farmland. Look at it. Look at the farmland. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> now here's the, and here is the trick. If there, if there is a trick to this, is um. As long as his inventory is full of seeds, as many seeds as possible, then basically he can't pick up any wheat. Now he's got five inventory slots. Um, and I think we've just about got enough. Let's um, chuck that down. Can you go and pick that up? Are you going to go and pick it up? Go pick it up. Go on. Go pick. There. Pick it up. Right. Cool. Awesome. Okay. So now, basically, um, all the wheat will get left on the floor, get picked up. He will never get full. Now, this is the key to this sort of thing. As long as he does not get food in his inventory, as long as he's not got any food in his inventory, he will always have the incentive to... Um, to actually farm yeah um, it's if if their inventory gets food in it that's when these sort of things stop yeah um, so um, so yes awesome awesome um, so one fully functional wheat farm kind of <laughs> um, but that is so all we've got time for um, for this episode um, Next episode, we'll do the bread farm um, and hopefully the other farms as well. But I do need to, I think I need to dig a new area out because 
we might as well use this for a slime farm anyway, but it's super annoying. Um, I mean, if you get a slime spawn in, well, if you get a slime spawn in the farm, it'll wreck all the farmland. And even if not, it's super annoying to have them out where I want to be. So, um, yeah, I'll look, I will, I'll look into that. But um, for now, we're going to leave it at that. And um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Bye.